Heracles and the Lion, based on a story by Aesop, retold by Russell Punter, illustrated by Mike and Carl Gordon. A long time ago, there was a man called Androcles. He was very poor, but he was kind. Androcles worked for a rich man named Brutus. Peel me a grape. Brutus lived in a big house outside the city of Rome. Brutus made his slaves work hard. Every day, Androcles scrubbed steps, mopped floors, mops faster, made beds, cooked food, cooked faster, served meals, and washed pots. What a life! But Brutus never paid him. All Androcles got was one piece of dry bread a day. Even the birds won't eat this. One night, Androcles decided to run away. He climbed through a window. Then he ran into the forest. Androcles has had never been in the forest before. It was dark and spooky. Ooh. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise from behind a bush. Brag! Androcles jumped. Who? Who is there? He asked. He looked around the bush and saw an enormous lion. Androcles ran, but the lion didn't run after Androcles. He sat there as still as stone. Androcles was surprised. He went back. Why didn't you chase me? He asked. I can't run, sniffed the lion. I can't even walk. There's a thorn in my paw. It really stings. You poor thing, said Androcles. Let me help. He gripped the thorn. This might hurt. I can't look. Androcles pulled out the thorn as quickly as he could. Ouch! yelped the lion. All done, said Androcles. Who? Thank you, cried the lion happily. I'm Leo. He smiled and gave Androcles a big, sloppy lick. Slurp! From then on, Androcles and Leo were best friends. They lived in a cave in the middle of the forest. They hunted for food every day and each night they shared it. One morning, Androcles saw a stranger. He tiptoed closer. A soldier, he thought. What does he want? The soldier unrolled some paper. Androcles gasped. He won't get away from me, wanted, for running away, Androcles. Just then, Androcles felt a bug on his nose. It tickled. A tissue! Hey! cried the soldier. Stop right there! The soldier pulled out his sword. Help! Androcles ran. The soldier chased Androcles between bushes, uphill, down hills, across the stream, around trees, and out of the forest. Androcles got so tired he had to stop. The soldier threw Androcles into a cart. Gotcha! Are you taking me back to Brutus? panted Androcles. No, boomed the soldier. You're going to Rome. Why? asked Androcles. You'll see, the soldier said. Androcles had a bumpy ride to Rome. The city was crowded and noisy. He had never seen so many people. Then he noticed a big round building. 
What's that? he asked. It's the arena, said the soldier. That's where you're going. What happens there? asked Andrew and Lise. You'll see, the soldier said. A man called Clinkers pulled Andrew and off the cart. Out you! Out you get, Skinny! He led Andrew and into the arena past a cage of lions. They weren't as gentle as Leo. Rawr, snow. Yikes! Why are they there here? Andrew Lee asked nervously. You'll see, said Clinkus. Andrew Lee was locked in a prison with a man called Marco. What happens now? asked Andrew Lee. We fight in the arena, said Marco. But I don't want to fight you, said Andrew Lee. We don't fight each other, Marco sighed. We fight the lions. Andrew Lee's gulp will be thought, torn to pieces. Everyone in Rome comes to watch and Marco, said Marco. Even the emperor. Our fights are tomorrow afternoon, he, ad he added. Androcles and Marco didn't get much sleep that night. The next afternoon, Clinkus dragged Androcles from the prison. It's showtime. He took him down a long dark tunnel to a doorway. Clinkus pushed Androcles through the door. Put up a good night. Androcles stood in the middle of the arena. Thousands of people sat around him. They gave a huge cheer. Bring on the lion! Good luck, Andrew Gleese. You'll need it. A gate opened in a side wall and an enormous lion charged out. Andrew Gleese trembled with fear. There was nowhere to run. Andrew Gleese closed his eyes. I hope it over quickly, he thought, and something strange happened. Andrew Lee felt a lick on his hand. He opened his eye to see. Leo! Hello, Andrew Lee. I was caught last night, said Leo. They brought me here to fight. The crit. Andrew Lee hugged his friends. The crowd couldn't believe it. Incredible! Amazing! Androcles had has tamed the lion. They cried, What a hero! Androcles! Androcles! Glinkus took Androcles to the emperor. You were very brave, said the emperor. I think I'll set you free. Androcles thought of his friends. Please will you free Marco and the lion too? The emperor smiled. Very well, he said. My hero. Androcles and his friends left Rome and started their own show. And no one had to fight. Come and see the friendly lion. Buy your tickets here. The end.